Good morning, everybody. How are you today? We're great. Well, it's great so far. Great so far. It's raining outside. We have to take the dog out, don't we, at some point. There's Ryan. And there's a little... like a blob, so keep me out of shot. And there's a little Reuben. <laughs> having a lazy Sunday, aren't we, my puppies? We're having a lazy Sunday. Well, I'm going to go upstairs now and edit. I've just been watching the final episode of a TV show called Chernobyl. It's been out for a while, but I've, I just had like one episode to catch up on, but I managed to do that this morning, so... Great series if you um, fancy a series, watch it. Ah, oh, look who's come. Look who wants to be in the vlog more. He's been chilling with me for... About a couple of hours this morning, and now he's a bit excited, and he's biting the back of me, uh, biting the back of me ear, uh, dressing gown. But never mind, <laughs> Mr. Hyper Pants. Right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> because you were talking by yourself over there. Yeah, and he doesn't know what's going on. Right, I'm gonna go on and edit for a bit, um, because as it's for October, we've got to edit loads, and and then I think I don't know what we'll do for the rest of the day. We're gonna have to find some content, and <laughs> we'll do something. <laughs> Why? Um, Ryan's got some stuff that he wants to show you. So, um, we'll speak soon. Okay, guys, I've just got ready. We've run out of hairspray, so my hair's gonna be messed all day. However, I just want to um, announce this milestone. It's took us almost four years, but we didn't. We don't play the same game like other um, gay couple YouTubers do, where we. Um, oh, this is really. Big to say but if they denied it I'd um, call them out on it when other gay youtubers have literally done sexual content that they then after regret doing may I add right and um, just to get subscribers and views however it's took us just short of four years to hit are you ready one million views there we go I'm just like it's it's crazy that it will finally hit that it's um are you pleased? Soon we will be at the same level as Sean Mendes. <laughs> How soon's that, Aiden? A week? Probably another couple of decades. <laughs> but still soon. Yeah. You're um you're editing, aren't you? As am I. Um it's it's really nice having this office and then we can just sit down there, he's eating his yak's milk uh, natural chew. So it's nice, isn't it? I nearly finished this action. Yeah. Well, because why we're we being productive, aren't we? Yeah, so. It's not we hit a million views. No. Yeah. Just how I feel like it should be more. Because <laughs> of all the work that we put in. We have but we don't want to play them. those games, no, do we? I might start the one. <laughs> Come see my nakedness. No, we won't be doing that. Whenever you're around. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you're around. Okay guys, so we've been editing for quite some time. Um, come on there buddy. Um, but it's three o'clock, which means that it's time for Reuben's dinner. And I want to show you, Reuben. Come on. Come on buddy. Goodbye, come on. Come on, let's go. Oh, God, I shouldn't baby kid. Come on. <laughs> come on. Good boy. We put a baby gate up because obviously my nana watches him on a Tuesday and he kept on running up the stairs looking for us and then like going in the rooms and my nana's having to get up and down from the couch and stuff. Right, what I wanted to show you, oh, I'm very, very right there, um, was we've taught him that he always gets fed in his pen, right, which is his little like play area over there. So I'm going to show you exactly what happens when it's dinner time and he's such a smart boy, he's going to dart in there, right, and sit like a good boy and he'll get fed. Watch this. So we have one dog at the ready. We have his food bowl. We have pre-measured food out. I'll explain about that later on. It's in one of these bowls that stops him from eating it too fast, right? Are you ready? In your pen. In your pen, come. <laughs> Calm down. And what do we do? Good boy, we sit really nicely, don't we? Good boy. There you go. Enjoy your dinner. So basically the reason why we do that is because then he then associates his pen as being a good place, a happy place is where I get fed. So if we do need to leave him for 
an hour because we're going to do some shopping or whatever, right? Because you can't be home every single minute of the day and we can't take him because it's not as if every business in the UK is dog friendly. So, we leave him in there and he's totally fine. He's, he's, he's totally fine. It's it's when you get puppies and you just put them in there and you don't calm them. You don't, you don't, you don't associate that place as a happy place. And it is a happy place because... Um, eat well, he gets fed in there, and that's where like they'll take the treats. So if we give him like a, a nice um, chew bone or whatever, he will. Um, and it's downstairs. He'll run into uh, his safe space, his zone. That's not our zone. Yeah, that's his zone. Anyways, I just want to show you. He's he's done that for like months now. We, that's what we did when we first got him really um, feeding his pen. And he has to sit and wait until we put it down. That we didn't want him like diving into the bowl. You know when when like. I mean, if you've got dogs, like, um, or if you know people that have got dogs, if you feed them, you're putting the, the food down on the ground and the, the mouths are already in the bowl before it even touches and you're like, whoa! So, we didn't want that. He's going to be a big dog, so we need him to be very well trained. And he is for five months. You know what I mean? Any problems that we have with him are completely normal. But he's, he's smart. All right, I've been in the shower and... I'm gonna make some food, um, and though it is like mm, nearly five o'clock, I'm gonna make a breakfast. Hey, cause I love breakfast. Ooh, it's been very lazy today, but to be honest, the weather's just been incredibly bleak. It's been very, very bleak, so there's nothing else that we could have done really, apart from go out in the rain, but who wants to do that? Well, we've got to take the dog out later, so we will have to do it at some point, um, but not yet. Right, I was trying to like do like a montage of putting stuff in and then taking it out of the oven, but then I forgot. So um, the sausage is miraculously so just on the plate already. So I like, just stopped the montage halfway through, and then now I'm just kind of like just doing like an actual. Oh sh! Holy hell! <laughs> the fire alarm here. It's really quite sensitive. A um, good couple of weeks ago now, it was a very, very, very hot night, and it was 2 a.m. In fact, it might have been like later than that, 3 a.m., let's just say. And the fire alarm st started to go off. So we were like, what the hell's that? Yeah. So we ran downstairs and we checked if there was a fire in the middle of the night. It obviously wasn't because we're still here. We would have logged that, let me tell you. That would have been a very, very good clickable vlog. My house burnt down. Um, but it didn't. What ended up happening is basically, we think, right, the only explanation is that it was a very, very, very hot night and the landing upstairs gets very warm quite quickly. Downstairs is a different kettle of fish. It's very, very cold downstairs. But upstairs, um, it's warm for whatever reason. I know heat rises, etc, etc. Um, anyways, it was really, really hot. So we think the reason why it went off in the middle of the night is because the smoke alarm felt as though it was so warm that it was uh, a fire. So we don't quite know why that happened, but yeah, there's the smoke alarm and we caught it live. What are you doing, Mr. on that, on that uh, chair? Naughty news. He's got two nicknames. When he drinks, he gets a bit of a wet beard, so we call him Wet Mush, right? And then, look around there. What are you doing? Hey? What are you doing? You gonna sit? No, you gonna jump off? Oh, you found something. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna have uh, a breakfast, right? <laughs> At quarter past five. And then I'm gonna take Ruben out for a walk and I'll take you guys along. All right. Yes, we're gonna have breakfast, a full English breakfast. Breakfast is ready. At five o'clock. Yes. So, I've just came back from the walk, as you saw. Now, I saw this from one YouTuber, so I want to pass on to other um, people that are watching our channel. What is this big blue cup? Basically, another dog YouTuber that I watch, not that we are dog YouTubers, by the way, it's obviously just like Ruben speaking in our vlogs, because we have 30 days of vlogs to do, and we have to film something exciting, because we don't live particularly exciting lives. Anyways, this cup, what it has inside, can you see, Aiden? 
It's got these little like rubber bristles, okay? And you fill it up with water and you put the puppy or dog's paws in there after a walk where it's obvious that the paws are a bit filthy and that way it protects um, the house. It's basically just, it's easier, okay, than getting the hose out of the watering can, holding the dog, wiping like, uh, washing its paws and then drying them off. It just means it goes in and whatnot. Ruben often thinks that this is like where he drinks from, so you'll see this in a second. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really handy. I got it from Amazon. A tenner, Aiden? Yeah, was I think it, it, was, I think it, was, it was something like that. Yeah. Is it worth the purchase? Absolutely. So if you do have a dog and you think this would be handy, please order one with um, no link down below because we're not Amazon affiliates yet. I'll show you what we do. Like so. You know, good boys. You know what's happening, don't you? So we do this all the time, don't we? So we just put the paw in and we just get that paw to rub off all the muck with the bristles. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Can I have the other paw? Good boy. Always when you lift up a dog's back legs, you've got to lift them up like it's a horse back leg. So don't be pulling like away from its hips or anything. And um, always do it like it's a horse back leg. Like this. Lift it up like that. And then just straight down. There we go. And I'll dry these off and they'll be good as new. Right, I know that today's vlog hasn't been the greatest. Um, I really have been either asleep or I've been editing. I had a bit of a nap earlier on, um, about two hours ago. Not like I needed it, but I was like, oh, I could do it with one. Um, <clears throat> the reason why I've been editing loads is because I want... These vlogs are filmed in a couple of days in advance. So if I can be a couple of days ahead of myself, then it means that like on Tuesday, when my nana comes over um, for like tea and she sleeps over every Tuesday now, it means that I can spend time with her rather than step out for an hour and a half to two hours just to edit and upload and get in and do the thumbnail, etc, etc. When I could just spend some quality time with her. So that's why I want to kind of just stay well ahead. Um, so I apologise for today's vlog being a bit of a um, laxadaisy, lazy day. Um, I haven't got a clue what I'm going to call it because we've recently called um, <laughs> a vlog a lazy Sunday and we can't like do another lazy Sunday because it's just, it's just so I'll figure something out to call it. I, I really don't know. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying Vlogtober so far. I can hear it and making more food. For you guys, it's been 30 seconds since we ate it, but for us, it's been hours. <laughs> All right, it is now dark outside. It is 20 to 10 at night. I've been editing um, or eating or asleep um, or taking the dog out for a walk, which is only half an hour since about midday. So, um, yeah, working hard, playing hard, whatever that saying is. Uh, yeah. Yeah, darling? What? He's saying, guess what we're having? What are we having? Right, well, the fatty on the, on the screen, Aiden, can't act so excited by that. We haven't had deep fried chips in weeks. That's a, that's a lie. We haven't had deep fried chips ever. <laughs> ever, right, since moving in together. So that's over two years. Um, but then we had some the other day at someone else's house, and then Aiden's been like, oh, I missed this. So he's obviously done it. So we're going to have. We had breakfast. <laughs> I cooked breakfast at five o'clock, and now we're having scanty and bloody deep fried chips. You know. I'd love to try and lose some weight, right? But Aiden just feels a sh feels <laughs> You all know that I bloody don't cook or, or do the laundry. I, I clean, I tidy, I do the editing. Aiden does the thumbnails and um, cooks and cleans. No, the washing doesn't clean, I clean. Sometimes. I've got a good, I've got a good. <laughs> I fried some chips. And I, I, although it's very unhealthy, it's uh, they taste really good. So um, right now, being healthy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start on Monday, which is tomorrow. Bring on! I'm gonna <laughs> screw starting on Monday. I'm gonna get a chip pan. No, you're not. <laughs> I am. We're gonna get a soup maker. That's what you want. <sighs> a soup maker and a chip pan. We're not having that. Yeah, we are. We're gonna get a deep fat fryer, but like McDonald's in the house. <laughs> So just having lunch, and I did say in a comment in a couple of videos ago that because we've taught Ruben really, really well that he only eats his food and not human food. He eats from his bowl and not from like scraps from our bowl. And we don't be like, oh, okay, you know that's bits like no problem, darling, no problem. Look, got me dinner here, and there's Ruben, and he's not he's not in the slightest bit bothering us. 
for me food. This is a good dog. Right. Ooh, I'm getting down in the meat gin cabinet. In me alcohol cabinet. Basically, we well, I drink fat. I drink that much alcohol that I just have like the cheap stuff because I would actually bank. Oh, shit. I'd actually bank myself if I was to use if I was to use anything other than the cheapest gin you could possibly imagine because I just go through bottles and bottles of it. Um, and but there's none left of the cheap Tesco stuff. So. Um, our friend David sent us some really, really nice gin um, a while ago. But like, when you've got nice gin, you know, I don't want to just drink it every single night because it's not special. So we just keep it for like special occasions um, and <laughs> and emergencies. And um, this is an emergency because we've got none left. Um, bear with. Perfect. Um, so I've got none left, so I'm going to have a little bit of this. And it tastes really good. I mean, it's the best kind. Now, I don't want anyone watching this thinking that I've got a problem, because I don't. Yet. We just kind of want to relax and we watch some TV with each other. And, um, and we have a gin. Or two. Or if it's a Friday, three. Or if it's a Saturday, four. <laughs> that's what you're talking about. Right, we're going to have this. We've been catching up on British, um, the Great British Bake Off, like watching old seasons, which we haven't seen. Um, so we're now on a... 2017 I think it is so we're gonna watch an episode of that and then we're gonna go to bed because uh, Ryan's away tomorrow but I'm not Woo okay guys it is now five to one I'm at work tomorrow morning and um, it's time for us to both head to bed yeah and this one is ready for bed aren't you sweetie yeah are you ready for bed yeah ready for I know yeah Anyways, what do these people that are watching the video even now still somehow what are supposed to do? You have to like our video, please. Click that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button, which I'm sure most of you already have. And then if also you haven't, click the notification bell so you're notified when we upload. If the people who are watching our videos haven't done that already, like I'm very, I'm, I'll be very surprised.